With the media widget, you can add a video file with the extension .m4v or an audio file with the extension .m4a. This is a tutorial of inserting and modifying a video in iBook Author. What you need is a computer with installed iBook Author application and a piece of M4V video. First, click on the iBook Author application and open the template. Choose Media from the widget pop-up menu in the toolbar. A small browser will pop up and the media template will be automatically embedded in the current page you are working on. Then drag the video from the finder or the media browser to the widget. To preview the video, you can click on the play button. In the interaction section in Widget Inspector, you can start or stop playback at a specific point by dragging the start and stop slider. To choose the frame to display until the file starts playing, you can drag the poster frame slider. If you want to make playback start over when the file finishes playing, you can choose an option from the repeat pop-up menu. To display the media file as a thumbnail image in the finished book, you should select the full screen rolling checkbox. To continue to edit the widget, select the thumbnail image, click Edit Media, make your changes, and click Done. To change the thumbnail image, drag a new image to the thumbnail. In the finished book, readers tap the widget's thumbnail image and the media file is displayed full screen. You can also drag a media file directly to the book page without adding a media widget first. If you want to change the place of media in your page, you can click Media Template and drag it to wherever you want. You can also change the size of your video. When you click on the media template, you will see eight little squares surrounding the inserted media. Click any one of the squares and drag it to a different direction. You can change the size as you like. If you want to add title, caption, and background to your media widget, you can select the title, caption, and background. Otherwise, they will not show up. To change the margin of your background, drag the margin slider or change the number next to the slider to set the space between the content and outer border. You can customize the appearance of media template by clicking on the Layout button. There are three types of layout. By clicking on the top button, you can put the title above your video and the caption below your video. By clicking on the button, both of your title and caption will be below your video. To include an automatically updating label, choose an option from the Label pop-up menu. You can add an accessibility description to the media in your book. When the book is viewed on the iPad, VoiceOver reads the object's accessibility description aloud. If you don't provide a description, VoiceOver reads the object's default description. That's how to insert and modify media in your iBook.